What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bearrock Wolf Farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bearrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to easily get a lot of wool. By the way, wool can be traded with shepherd villagers to get emeralds. Wool can also be used to make beds. Beds can be useful for blast mining in the nether. By the way, this wool farm can be used to get any color of wool. For this farm, you'll need two chests, one hopper, one minecart hopper, one rail, two dirt blocks, 14 grass blocks. By the way, you can get grass blocks by mining them with a shovel or pickaxe that is enchanted with silk touch. If you don't want to use grass blocks, another option is to make this farm over a grass block area and use dirt blocks instead. The grass in the area can be spreaded to the farm. Four glass blocks, one torch, one observer. One redstone, one dispenser, one shears, and finally one solid block. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks include cobblestone or wood planks. The first step is to break two blocks. Then place two chests over here. Now crouch down and place a hopper at that spot. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing the chest. Then crouch down and place a rail on the hopper. By the way, the direction the rail is facing does not matter. Now place a minecart hopper over here. The next step is to place two dirt blocks over here. Now go to this side, then place three grass blocks over here. Now place two grass blocks at this spot. Finally place two grass blocks over here. Then break this dirt block. The next step is to place an observer over here. Make sure the top arrow of that observer is facing this way. Then place a solid block at this spot. Now place a redstone over here. After you have done that, go to this side. Now place a dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing this way. The next step is to place a grass block at this spot. Once you are done with that step, add shears to this dispenser. You can add as many shears as you want, however, the more shears you add, the longer you will be able to use this farm for before having to add more shears. The next step is to crouch down and place three grass blocks over here. Then place two grass blocks over here, and two at this spot as well. The next step is to crouch down and place a glass block over here. Then place a glass block at each of these spots. Those glass blocks will prevent the sheep from escaping that chamber. The next step is to place a torch over here. That torch will provide light so that grass can spread to dirt blocks even when it is nighttime. At this point, if you use dirt blocks instead of grass blocks to make this farm, place three dirt blocks over here. Then place a dirt block at this spot and a dirt block over here. Then place a dirt block at this spot. This dirt block should be next to at least one grass block. If it is not, you'll need to place more dirt blocks until a dirt block is next to a grass block. Over time, the dirt blocks will be turned into grass blocks. That will eventually cause the dirt blocks in the farm to be turned into grass blocks as well. Once your farm has grass blocks, break these blocks. The next step is to bring a sheep over to that chamber. I am not going to show you all one easy way you can do that in survival mode. To do that, place two blocks over here. Then place two over here, two over here, and one at this spot. Then place two blocks over here, and two over here. Now place two blocks on this side, and two blocks over here as well. Then place a block at this spot. Now place a button over here. Sheep see buttons as full blocks so the sheep will walk into that chamber whenever it goes over there. After you have placed those blocks, find a sheep. Once you have found a sheep, hold wheat. As you guys can see there, that it should cause the sheep to follow you. Now walk over to the farm. After you're at the farm, walk over here. Then jump over to that spot. As you guys can see there, the sheep should walk into that chamber. After there is a sheep in that chamber, break this button and these blocks.
I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you've made this automatic wool farm correctly. Over here, this should be the sheep chamber. Down there, this should be the grass. Over here, this should be the minecart with hopper collection system. This side should look like this. The back should look like this. Finally, this side should look like this. How this wool farm works is whenever the sheep eats the grass below it, the grass block will turn into a dirt block. The observer will detect whenever the grass block turns into a dirt block and send a redstone signal to that dispenser. That will cause the dispenser to shear the sheep. All the wool will get collected by the minecart hopper funnels into that hopper and funnels into that collection's chest. The dirt block below the sheep will eventually turn back into a grass block because there are grass blocks around it. Whenever the sheep eats the grass, it will regrow its wool. It will also be automatically sheared. I am now going to show you all how to use this automatic wool farm. To use it, all you need to do is wait. The sheep will automatically grow wool and get sheared. All the wool will get funneled into this collection's chest. Whenever you want to collect the wool, all you need to do is open this chest. It will all be in here. If you want to get a different color of wool from this farm, all you need to do is dye the sheep the color that you want. To do that, first remove any shears from this dispenser. Then wait for the sheep to grow wool. After the sheep has grown wool, dye it the color of wool that you want to get. I want to get blue wool, so I dyed my sheep blue. Once you have dyed the sheep, add shears back to the dispenser. The farm will now harvest the color of wool that the sheep has been dyed. You can collect all of the wool in this chest. If this farm ever stops working for you, check to see if there are still any shears in that dispenser. If there are no more shears in that dispenser, you will need to add at least one shears. If you want to make a larger and more efficient wool farm, I recommend you make my Easy 1.19 Automatic Wool Farm. The link to my tutorial for this farm is in the description. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bearrock wool farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.